Kia ora koutou katoa, uh, from the Department of Computer Science and uh, Software Engineering. In today's presentation, I will give a two-minute introduction to computational pathology, highlighting its importance in histopathological um, evaluations. And I will also talk a little bit about uh, some of the projects done in my research group. Traditionally, for almost uh, two centuries, uh, pathology evaluations are done by examining tissue specimens under a, under a light field microscope. Uh, such manual evaluations are um, subject to uh, inter-observer uh, variability. And there is often a lot of unused, undetected data in these uh, tissue samples. Digital pathology plus AI solution, some call it uh, a revolution, uh, is a transformative uh, technology uh, that has been uh, recently ad adopted by many pathology labs worldwide. Uh, here we uh, digitize a tissue sample uh, into a very high resolution whole slide image, which could then be analyzed uh, or processed by machine learning algorithms or uh, whole slide image analysis algorithms uh, to extract uh, various uh, quantitative features about uh, the t underlying tissue uh, structure. So these whole slide images are um, super high resolution uh, images. Um, and they can have a resolution of up to 0.25 microns per pixel, and that's a lot of data. And we can use this data uh, to extract, quantify, and analyze various uh, features of the underlying uh, tissue microenvironment. And this is what we have been uh, doing in some of the projects in my group. Uh, that's the computer graphics and medical image analysis uh, group. Here is one of the projects uh, featured on uh, the Breast Cancer Foundation New Zealand website. Uh, here we uh, developed uh, a few uh, features that correlate very well uh, with the HER2 scores assigned by a pathologist. Uh, I'll skip this demo. This basically shows how the stain intensity and texture features uh, affect the uh, predictions of HER2 scores. Uh, such uh, graphical user interfaces are useful for visualizing the performance or uh, the uh, computations uh, that are performed in a machine learning algorithm. This is another project uh, on tumor cellularity assessment, uh, which is done um, with the help of a, a CMR of Canterbury Medical Research Foundation grant. So this is the details on uh, their website. Um, nuclei segmentation is the most important step in tumor cellularity assessment. Here is another um, project featured again on the Breast Cancer Foundation New Zealand website. Uh, here we used a deep learning approach uh, for extracting nuclei features and correlating it, correlating those features with the genomic features obtained from uh, molecular uh, testing. Dr. Gavin Harris, uh, who is uh, shown here as the principal investigator for uh, this project, uh, is a specialist breast cancer pathologist uh, at uh, the Christchurch Hospital, and he is the main collaborator and advisor for most of our projects in computational pathology. In this project, we use, again, a deep, learn a deep learning approach uh, for um, classifying um, estrogen receptor positive uh, tissue samples into luminal A and luminal B subtypes. We are also currently doing some work on um, quantifying uh, BRCA1 and BRCA2 uh, gene expressions in RNA scope images, and this work is currently done uh, in collaboration with a research group at University of Otago Christchurch. So in conclusion, computational pathology combined with the power of AI uh, is a very promising field uh, with increasing applications in computer-aided diagnosis and uh, precision medicine uh, useful for uh, 
um, uh, personalized uh, health care. Thank you.